Hey y'all, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Today was a lazy day and it was really nice and much needed. I got to sleep in a little bit and then I watched a couple of cheesy Netflix Christmas movies and one was actually really cute. It was Operation Christmas Drop with Bonnie from The Vampire Diaries and I actually really liked that one. And it really made me want to go to the beach right now. I always want to go, but it was just the beach at Christmas. And that's the kind of white Christmas I want. A white sandy beach. But anyways, the other one I think was maybe called Hometown Holiday. Maybe. That one was cute, but it was like super, super cheesy. And... I mean, I watched it. Copper, there's a trail on. That is why I have the gates in front of the tree because they have been trying to get the ornaments and then he's also been trying to get these ornaments. It's always something with these two. But anyways, I also rode my Peloton again. Y'all are probably tired of hearing about it, but I feel like since I've talked about it the last couple days, I need to just keep letting y'all know if I've ridden it or not. Daisy, not you too. I was just going to do like a quick 20 minute ride. And once I got out there, I was like, you know what? What's 10 more minutes? I'm already out here. I'm going to do it. Might as well do 30 minutes. And I don't know if any of y'all have a Peloton and have taken a class at Kindle Tool, but she kicks your butt. But it was a 90s ride with a good playlist, so I did it. And it had a little arm segment, and I'm glad I did it. It was worth it. And that's one of the many things I like about the Peloton is you can... Sort the classes through instructor, class length, genre, and you can also save like your favorite artists. And I actually have a whole video on my Peloton. I go over the whole bike and I tell you about the app because you have where you can do like yoga, running, meditation, stretching, uh, shrink workouts so it's really awesome but I will go ahead and link that video down below in the description box in case y'all do want to check that out next but since I didn't really do a whole lot today I didn't think that y'all wanted me to film me just sitting on the couch watching cheesy Christmas movies so I thought that I would try my little sugar cookie scene set today I don't really know how this is going to go because I'm sitting here on my coffee table. That's why I'm being weird in the floor. And I feel like the dogs are probably going to try and get it. Our table currently has Christmas presents on it. So I can't do it there. And then I don't, I guess I could do it on my desk in my makeup room. I might have to move it in there. But the lighting is not the best in there. So we're just going to try it in here. I really hope this goes better than our gingerbread houses last year. It only has one house part. So maybe that's what that's for. Maybe I should read the directions. Oh, I have to let it dry 15 minutes. So here is the scene and what it's supposed to look like. I can probably almost guarantee y'all mine is not going to look like that. What I tell y'all? Excuse me. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work y'all. Okay, so I had to bring it in here. I should have known better, but I wanted to try and do it in there where I have more room. But this is just going to have to work. 
Alright, cut a very small tip from the point. Now it says to sprinkle this festive sugar onto where I just iced. Okay, I brought y'all in a little closer so maybe you can see better. Now it says to pipe icing around the base, then outline a path to the center and a slot at the back. Now I'm going to attach this cute little wreath. Hopefully this is what it has to sit for 15 minutes. And I better let it. Yeah, I put way too much icing on the roof. I was trying to make it, I don't, they totally use different icing for that because there's no way this icing would look like that. So misleading. Okay, I better let that sit because if I don't, it will fall off and the whole thing will be ruined. Now I have to attach the support base. Oh, I forgot to turn my ring light back on. So y'all probably couldn't see any of that. Okay, and now I get to add these cute little guys. This llama is the cutest thing ever. Look at it. And this little Christmas tree that I'm pretty sure that should be on top. <laughs> How cute. These little snowmen. Okay, I think this might actually turn out okay. And I probably just jinxed myself. Okay. Okay, I guess I wasn't supposed to press it down like that. Okay, probably gonna mess it up, but I'm gonna try and line the sidewalk again because you can't really see it. So one more look at what it's supposed to look like and here is what it might look like. I actually don't think it's that bad and I honestly don't think anybody's could turn it like that because I swear the roof icing is something different than this icing because it flattens out but I honestly think it turned out 
pretty good and I like this so much better than a normal gingerbread house because with a gingerbread house you have to worry about four pieces staying together and with this one all you have to worry about is that support wedge so this is way way better so if you happen to be by Target and you see this definitely get it because it actually wasn't too bad and it's so dang cute. But that is going to be it for today's Vlogmas. I'm sorry there wasn't a whole lot going on today. But hopefully you still enjoyed seeing me do my little cookie kit. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. But that is it for today. And I will see you all tomorrow.